Welcome! This is my Screenshots Like a Rockstar tutorial. Today I'm going to be using Windows 8, which is the latest version of Microsoft's uh, window operating system. But anyway, what I wanted to do is talk to you about a really cool tool that most people don't even know exists because students and teachers are asking me all the time, how do you make super easy screenshots? And here's how. What I want you to do if you're following along is go to the bottom left hand corner. You can see right here as I'm wiggling the cursor. And I want you to left click to open this start bar. Inside the search box, I want you to type in the word SNP. As you can see, up here, the snipping tool has opened. Before we click on it, I want you to right click. And that's going to open up all these different functions. And the cool thing about being a rock star is you have to make it look effortless. So what I want you to do is pin it to the taskbar. Now, as you can see, everything moved over and now here is my snipping tool. It's a little pair of scissors. So let's say I want to take this tweet on my professional Twitter page and I want to share it with my staff. What I'm going to do is click on the snipping tool and up pops this these crosshairs. Right now there are different kinds of SNPs, freeform, rectangular, window, and full screen. They're pretty self-explanatory. Rectangular will be a linear format in a rectangle form. Freeform is the shape of you dragging your cursor. So for the first one, I want to do a rectangular SNP. Let's give it a shot. Now you can see the crosshairs. I'm going to click it where I want the image capture to begin and I'm going to drag it until I like what the image looks like. So this is exactly what I, what I want to insert into the email I'm going to send out to the staff today. So when I'm happy with it, I'm going to let go of the click and now it pops up. So all I have to do at this point is a save as. I have them going directly into my pictures folder and so I titled this, let's say, SLJ. Okay, I'm going to save it as a JPEG in that folder. Perfect. So now what I do is if I do a control V, the paste function, control, you know, paste, I could just add it directly into my email or I could save it and go back to it weeks from now, days from now. I can also alter. I can use this highlighter and, and if there's something I want to point out, I can use that. If I want to eliminate the highlighting, I click on eraser and I just make it disappear like that. Okay, next. There's a different kind of snipping tool. I can go to the freeform like I just talked about. If I click on freeform, essentially what's going to happen once I click it starts drawing a line. I keep going, keep going, keep going until I'm satisfied with what I've selected. Once I let go, it shows me exactly what I captured. So there are many different kinds of capture functions that you can use. All are really cool. The highlighter, the eraser, I don't think I talked yet about the pen. If you go to the down arrow, you can change the different colors and just say you can make comments and change it. Of course you're going to have to save any changes you do um, but anyway this is how you make really cool screenshots make yourself look really good and it's so much easier to explain things. So I hope it helps. If you still have questions stop by at the Media Center. I'd love to help. Take care.